section 623 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. This one's short, whereas the parallel in electrostatics was long. Um, the basic reasoning here is that when you actually get inside of a uh, magnetized material and you move it microscopic lengths, um, nanoscopic lengths, you're going to see that the magnetization, the magnetic fields change rapidly depending on whether you're close to one dipole or another in between two opposing dipoles. And um, so really, when you, when you get down to the nuts and bolts, the answer what's actually happening inside matter is far more complicated than what the magnetization hints at. But that doesn't matter because when you look at the average magnetic fields and things like that, um, over a certain volume, um, you'd run the math and it basically ends up being that it doesn't matter what you know, microscopic effects there are when you're averaging over volumes um, of decent enough size, you get a very uniform magnetic field that has a definite value. Um, so this smoothing operation that you studied back in, uh, in electro, um, electrostatics uh, absolutely applies here. Um, it depends on not just uh, how do things behave at a distance, but how do be things behave, what's the actual magnetic field of things close together, and then what the average of the dipoles within a certain volume is. So anyway, um, there's a problem that you can walk through and, and uh, figure out um, how exactly to solve this. Um, I'm not going to solve it for you. I'll let you experience the joy of, of unpulling this one yourself. Um, I don't want to spoil that for you. I know that uh, that solving problems is a, is a matter of, of pride, for, or it should be for physicists. You're not just trying to pass the course. You're actually trying to, to uncover the, the, the mathematical reasoning and, you know, combined with the physical reality of things. So anyway, uh, um, I know I didn't have any equations for you this time, but hopefully this will help you understand what you need to do. Thanks for your time. Bye.